Hi everyone, just a quick message. Um, I wanted to offer you the opportunity to make a donation um, of a minimum of one pound via PayPal to yourpsychicconsultants at gmail.com. Um, and everybody that makes a donation, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to choose people um, at random to get free one hour readings. This is because the more you guys can support me, the more time I can put into um, uploading videos and doing more for the channel, which I really want to do, because I spend a lot of time on my private one-to-one -one clients and I like that, but I would like to give more time to, to these. And also to give the opportunity for people that can't necessarily afford a, um, a full hour private reading to be able to have the opportunity to get one. So um, you, it's for it's a the minimum of one pound um, of a British pound, which I think is about one dollar fifty. Um, and I'm not sure. Obviously, you'll have to kind of do the do the translation into whatever currency you use, but hopefully it's not too much. And um, but just make sure when you do it that you click, you don't click that it's a ser you, a service or a good because then about a third of that will go to PayPal, and it won't be a pound, um, and you won't be a in the draw. So um, and depending on response, I'll give. You know, I'll give quite a few. I'll see how many, if there's a good response, I can give more free readings. And I'm hoping to do that, you know, to give away quite a lot of free readings, as well as um, if people do want to um, pay. So, yeah, so just make a donation via PayPal to yourpsychicconsultants at gmail.com and you could get a free reading. Thank you very much. And just to say that you will be in the draw for a month of the date of donation and hopefully I will be picking quite a few people within that month. Um, but so for you will be in the draw for a month after you make your donation. Hi Aquarius, welcome to Psychic Consultants. This is Agatha and this is your general monthly reading for February 2016. Firstly, I want to say thank you to everyone that's watched and liked and subscribed to my previous videos. It means a lot to me. Um, thank you for all your comments. Um, I can't always um, respond to all of them, but I do read all of them. Um, and please do keep keep watching and, and, and all your responses. I really do appreciate. Um, so, I'm going to do a general reading for... February. I'm going to lay out eight cards and then just kind of read the energies as they come. It's not a specific spread. And then I'm going to pull a bit of an advice card for for the month from a different deck. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the cards. Just to say, if anything doesn't resonate with you, then it's not for you. Um, also to check your sun, your ascendant, your rising sign and your moon um, because sometimes that reading will be for you that month and not your, your sun sign so just be a little bit aware of that. So it's always worth checking your moon and your rising sign as well. So... Let's see what's going on. Right, bottom of the pack, I have the sun. So, this is an optimistic month, I think. I think this will be optimism and feeling good and feeling free and being quite playful is going to be really important for you this month. So, let's see what comes out. So, I have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Chariot, the Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so there's a lot going on with you um, this month, I feel. 
there's this we've got a major arcana card as your kind of theme on the bottom of the pack and then we've got three major arcana cards that are present so I'm going to go with those to begin with and I, I'm so there are three energies the first energy I'm going to go with is the chariot so things are moving quite fast this month it it does kind of link up with this um sun card and travel you know the the, the, the child's on the back of the horse there and there's movement and brightness and and so it's that this is a kind of quite a fast fast moving month so I feel like it might be like it might feel like it's moving a little bit too fast at times um but but I do think you can keep up with it and if you stay optimistic that's how it's going to help you the hierophant card is here so there are people around you that can help you and I'm getting that partnering up might be quite good or also that legal advice may be worth you you going to or asking for um, for this month and then the wheel of fortune so no matter what happens always remember that destiny is is kind of it's like we have free will, but it's a little bit out of our control as well. It's that there are so many variables and so many things going on that you, you just can't control everything. And sometimes you just have to let go and let things happen and go with the flow and completely surrender to... I'm getting to divine will, you know, to to that kind of godlike divine energy that just moves things anyway and I mean I, or I call it love it's just it's just whatever's happening trust that it's for your highest good that's what I'm getting I think you're um you're gonna have a lot of get up and go and a lot of kind of new creative ideas that um emerge during this month of February because you've got this ace of wands this is also a card of fertility so the, um any yeah anybody interested in um having children or not having children maybe bear that in mind that there is a lot of fertility going on this month um but also create it's like creativity creation create creative ideas new new energies for for that so um it's like you've got a bit of the Midas touch when it comes to creating things this month. Um, these cards, for some reason, they're kind of, I'm pairing them up together. And I'm going to have to do a bit of work here because they're not necessarily cards that pair up that well. Um, but what I'm getting is that there is a feminine energy. Um... Of a, of a water sign that may be that is a good energy and and good for you and helpful to you it may not be a water sign it may be um a a mother figure or a sister or just a strong feminine energy for you that you may have had a bit of conflict with and whether this is somebody you know already, it might be somebody that comes up this month. That it could even be a colleague. It's some kind of feminine energy, a person that you may have had a bit of conflict with that you don't really trust. But the message I'm getting is that you can trust her, and she is actually really stable and good, and does have good intentions and and love for you. The Queen of Cups is a is a card of it's a it's a nurturing kind of emotionally stable female but i can understand why i'm getting it. It, it she comes across as though she's she's not really trustworthy but she is really she might just kind of say these harsh things or she might be you know i'm getting that she might not communicate it that well um and so you're you're just not really trust trusting of her or it could be that there's been some kind of conflict with you in the past and now you don't trust her and what i'm getting is that she is trustworthy and she is actually a nice person she does care about you and she will be good for you emotionally and that you can um you can trust her and allow this energy of the queen of cups to kind of be present in your life because she will help you out 
and I think when you kind of yeah and because we've, we've also got the three of pentacles below the queen of cups and I do think you could possibly work with her or work together to do certain things or to achieve certain things so I'm I'm getting that that there is some kind of collaboration that you can do with this with this woman that is going to is going to help you build something um, of value. This three of pentacles, these people are actually discussing the building of a cathedral. And, you know, it's a big project and it's a big undertaking and it's a big goal, but it's a beautiful thing to achieve and do. It requires a lot of planning, but it, it it's being done. It's being, it's being built. The foundations are being put down. And I think there is a connection with this, this female here um, that will really help you to build something of great value. Um, and also this Hierophant energy, I, th I feel like might be a little bit kind of um, involved with that. I th I'm getting a sense of spirituality with this Hierophant energy for you. So it's like there's some kind of authority figure that's kind of helping you out or helping you to understand things or um, it's also connected to this creativity here and I feel as though it might even be like some kind of god for you or some way that you're viewing god it's like um, this kind of like archetypal divine masculine that that is on your side and, and that is is going to help you to kind of break through with whatever this thing you want to achieve and I do think if the people that kind of want to have children or or that kind of thing it's that um also someone will help you out like it will it, it, it will either be like oh you, you kind of like surrendering it to God because the wheel of fortune is a card of kind of surrender or there is someone a professional that can help you with that and if you're not already seeing one then you know seek one out um so you've got like two peeps, two helpers kind of here. I've got, I've got this Queen of Cups and I've got this Hierophant. There are people that kind of want to help you. And they may even two work together to help you to build this, this thing that you want. Um, with In regard to this conflict and this kind of five of, of swords here, this kind of conflicting energy, it is that anything, any conflict that comes up, even within yourself or around you or difficult kind of, circumstances they're here for a reason and they're part of your destiny they're part of your destiny so it's about welcoming those welcoming any kind of resistance or conflict that that comes up because it's not it doesn't have to be resistant it doesn't have to play out for such a long time it can it can it's actually helping you to to move forward with this chariot card it's actually helping you to to kind of sail forward in your your goals and i think for this month aquarius you've got big goals and i think you feel as though they're a little bit far away um but just to let you know that they are being built they are it's happening the foundations are being built and you might just be a bit impatient because i think sometimes you just like you want to move forward you can see in this card the the guy in the card he's He's looking out and he's looking far out. He's looking you know, into the future. And this is the card of moving towards that. Um, but it's that things have to be balanced. You see the two sphinxes at, um, on, on the card there. Um, they're, they're black and white and white and black. They're, they're balanced, you know. Different. There's one's kind of feminine and one's masculine. And it's about having both sides balanced so you can go forward in the right place. And just to let you know that you are going towards it. And you are, I think, feeling quite ambitious. But um, it's that any resistance that you're coming up against, you might be giving a little bit too much energy to. And you're not really trusting. You're not trusting. I do get that this is you. It, but, but you're not trusting other people. And it means that you're being overly aggressive with them. So there's only so far you can go with that energy. It's like these kind of slightly shallow victories. Like you're okay, but you're not really getting what you want. Um, so you've got to collaborate more. Collaborate with these people that are kind of around you. 
I'm getting that there's two kind of things, you know, there's there are big goals going on for, for all of you. Some of it, some of you, it's career. Um, there's this career goal that you want to get to. Some of you, it's, it's in creative things. It's either like wanting to have children or wanting to, this new creative idea that you have or this new you that you can see that you want to be. And there's this, I'm getting there's a little bit of this sense of impatience. Um, and with this two of swords here, I'm getting that it's just, you, things aren't clear yet. There's not quite, you know, you, you can't really see yet. So don't, you can't make a decision yet. If there are decisions to be made, it's like everything isn't quite clear. So don't, you know, if you push forward too fast when things aren't clear, you're going to go in the wrong direction. So it's like, if you feel like you're coming up against resistance, I think it's that you've got to stop and just kind of recourse a little bit to, to move this chariot energy forward and that there are, it's about collaborating with other people and being open to, there's this strong kind of male energy or um, professional and also this queen of cups person that you're just really not trusting. Um, and to know that, that you can. Um, and people transform. When you, when you, it's not until you begin to give people trust that they then prove themselves to be trustworthy. And I think maybe you have to take that leap and just have a bit of faith and know that destiny is playing out. Um, and it is in relation to your goal because you can see on the top of the Wheel of Fortune you've got the little sphinx that's kind of also in the chariot card so i'm getting that this goal and this dream that you're kind of wanting to move really quickly towards it is happening but you've got to let the wheel turn in the way that it turns and i think if it does feel like it's not going as fast as you want to it's just because not everything is quite so clear yet and maybe these people these two guys can help you out to to find that clarity okay so i'm going to take a card as a kind of advice card from the Archangel Power Tarot card deck. And we'll see what that is for you, Aquarius, for February. Okay, so oh, that came out nicely. Okay, so it's number five, Divine Guidance, Archangel Sandalphon. Um the search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. And this completely backs up what I've been saying, because this is the, in this deck, this is the Hierophant card again. So this is highlighting this Hierophant energy. So the search for meaning in life, that's kind of what I was saying about how God, somehow there's this kind of spiritual thing that you, you need, you kind of, things seem to be maybe not going in your favor and it's like you're thinking there's got to be some kind of divine thing so it's it's this wheel of fortune this kind of destiny thing but it's made you kind of a little bit surrender to god it's like you've got to kind of surrender to this to this god that will you know that is just the way that things are going consider an alternative approach so don't push forward too fast in things before everything is clear, the same message, things aren't clear yet, don't push it forward too far, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends, I think this is also connected to this Queen of Cups here, and this is about building, you know, collaborating with other people, and there are definitely people around you that can help you, but it's that you've got to allow people to be wiser than you, you've got to trust them, um, I'm going to read, see what it says about this card in the little accompanying book, so number five, divine guidance. There is no need to be alone. There are amazing people around you from whom you would gain great strength and support. Seek out those who are like-minded and who share your beliefs and ideals. Make new friends who would benefit from your insights and affection. This Queen of Cups might even be a new person that you always didn't trust. It could be someone that's been around you that you just thought she wasn't very nice or, and then you've, you, know, you realise that she is actually a friend and an ally. Take a class on spirituality or join an organisation that aims to do good in the world. So, yeah, I do think I did get this kind of, you know, communi communion of, of different people that in some kind of spiritual way. 
Archangel Sandalphon can help you find the me meaning you're seeking in your life. Be open to other people's ideas and perspectives, but don't be bound by them. If you're taking a very traditional approach to your challenges and things don't seem to be moving forward, then it might be time to think outside the box. On the other hand, if your attempts to be creative are merely to be creative and merely reinventing the wheel, perhaps the old fashioned way would be better. So it says additional meanings, walking your talk, universities, resistance to change, spiritual seeking, divine wisdom. So it's that you're really protected and it's, it's, it's happening anyway. So just don't push. What I'm getting is that you can't move forward with your ambitions until you've got some clarity and you've learned a little bit to trust other people and connect and trust people kind of here and also to trust, to trust the divine. It's the big message. So, just a little bit it says here about Archangel Sandalphon. So it says, Archangel Sandalphon is the angel who watches over the accumulation of metaphysical and spiritual knowledge. If you're seeking to enrich your inner world, he can help you to find others who are similarly inclined and also searching. Archangel Sandalphon is known for delivering prayers from earth to heaven. Call upon him to help when you feel your prayers need an extra boost. So I get, I'm get, i getting that there are a few of you that have been praying and it's like suddenly like there's something that you really want and you really desire. And you've been to such an extent that things haven't been working out and you've kind of had to believe in this God or started praying to this God or something for it. And just know that your prayers will are being answered and destiny is playing out. And that there are just things that aren't quite ready yet or that you don't quite know. And to reach out to the people around you to support and everything will be okay. And this card as well from, you know, the sun, be optimistic. That's kind of the overall arching theme. And things are going in the right way. You're getting what you want. It's just be the more optimistic you are, the faster you'll get there. All right, then, if you would like a personal reading, all the details for that will be below this video in the description box. Lots of love to everybody. Thank you again. And I shall see you with more readings for next month.